Oh, okay, today I thought we'd do something new. <laughs> uh, cooking in the shed. We're going to make some of my green chili surprise. It's green chili is basically what it is. Uh, the ingredients are some 90%. Uh, come on, focus. 90% lean hamburger from Food City. Two cans of hatched diced green chilies. Uh, one can of sun pressed, which is 15 ounce can of sun pressed pinto beans, and uh, some of this here Kobe Jack cheddar cheese, right for a dollar, and uh, some onion, and a little bit of garlic, and some tortillas. Uh, and, oh, and I forgot. A little bit of oil, also from Food City. Ooh, there we gotta go. All right, and uh, some kind of spices. I think I got this one here. Spicy jalapeno, Mrs. Dash, and uh, some black pepper. I don't think I have any salt. But anyway, we're gonna give it a go. Let's just blackening spice. I ain't gonna use that one. Right, but you know, I don't have any salt, so. I think I'll just go with the Mrs. Dash, so hang on. You first have to start off by dicing up the garlic and the onions and putting a little bit of oil in the pan. First we're gonna turn it on to a full blast. All day five. This is a slow cooker of West Bend. This is really cool, huh? See look, it's got it's got this glass part. She's got this glass casserole dish. It acts as the lid. Okay. Actually, the lid, and it's also a Pyrex casserole dish. Then you got the, then you got the metal insert cooking pot, right? And then, and then you got the hot plate right here. So this is a really cool thing. You know, normally stored it somewhere, right? I don't know. Man, it works bad. I made some food in another night. So we're gonna try to do this, right? And get it going. So, hang on. Let me get started. We'll go again. Okay, it's a little bit dark in here, but as you can see, this is a slow cooker. Uh, it's still in the light. So, what I did was I just added it all together the garlic, the onions, sauteed in the oil for a little bit, to the medium, and two cans of the, the hatch green chilies. Right? Put it on the, put it in the hot plate, cover that sucker. Because it's going to take a little bit. It's going to take a little bit for it to heat up enough to cook. Uh, so that's why I put the lid on. Now uh, after it gets to going, after the meat and everything cooks, and I throw in the can of beans, right? And uh, we'll let it steam for a while. Probably gonna take a couple hours, you understand? But we're gonna have green chili for dinner. Uh, as you can see, I went and did some little bit of grocery shopping here. I uh, got me a couple of hot and spicy beef soups, can of stacked chili, I ate one of those last night. Some, right? Some cheese its uh, avocado, hard oil, got me some peanut butter and jelly. A right, couple cans of chunky soup, got some bread, got some pumpernickel bread, some wheat bread, some tortillas, right? Some steady sauce, some people both donated to us, marinara, right? Some instant coffee right here, right? A couple of different kinds of spices, got some lucky charms, right? I got a hot pot right here. Heat up my coffee water, make the chili and stuff in. This thing's really cool, man. This thing works like mad, it's a rival. Hot Pot Express. It's got two set, two settings, warm and boil. <laughs> and believe me, it doesn't take very long, a couple of minutes and that thing's moving. Right? You know what I'm saying? So, we're just sitting here, you know, working on some YouTube stuff, blabbing. Right? Figured I'd just cook me some dinner. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, right, there's my dessert right there. So, we're just hanging there for a while. We're just gonna let it go, right? And then we'll get back to it. All right, so here we are. We're about 30 minutes in. The meat is just about all cooked. Chili and onions and garlic starting to incorporate. Add a little bit more of the jalapeno here. Let's show you again. Yeah, I'm trying to hold it in my hand. It doesn't work sometimes. So Mrs. Dash, salt-free jalapeno right, seasoning. And some of this one. McCormick Salad Supreme. Perfect pitch. And some black pepper. All right. 
And I just mix it all together and put it in the slow cooker. Just been letting it go. So here, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. Alright, so I'm gonna let it go for a little bit while longer. Then I'm gonna throw the beans in. Right? Remember, we got a can of sun biscuit pinto beans. Alright? Put the lid back on. Man, I have All you people that can do this stuff with one hand, you are the bomb. Alright? Uh, so that's where we're at. Sitting, waiting, hanging in there. Remember, we got tortillas and cheese and avocado to go with it. I'm seeing beans, so we ain't done yet. Alright, been another 30 minutes. That's right, so now sun bistro pinto beans. You drain them, you drain them. So you can dump them out in. Whole 15 ounce can. Alright, stir them up. Sorry about the lighting here. But that's where the ball stock it is. <laughs> stir them up. Oh, give it a taste. Mm. Wow. Uh -huh. mm. What we got here? Yeah, it tastes really good. I'm gonna let it, gonna let it warm the beans through. Every minute, so I'm gonna throw some cheese on it. We got with the tortillas. Ah, cut up the avocado and we're gonna grub down. This is me and Brian. Right? Cook green chili and beans. Right here in the shed. Norman's a little cook, slow cooker thing. And you guys thought I couldn't do it. <laughs> Dude, I'm hungry. I wanna eat. I'm gonna find a way to cook me some food. That's how I am. Homeless my ass. Thank you. Well, here we are. Whoop, but turn this off for a second. Here we are. Oh man, that's some stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put the camera down right here. Rip off a piece of tortilla. Mm -hmm. Mom. Believe it or not, I actually think Mark would be like this. Me and Brian, we're a homeless guy. Mm -hmm. Eating like a fat rat tonight. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Damn. Holy crap, that's good. <laughs> 